Hello, hello, it's finally Oscar day. If you're an Oscar lover like myself, then you know this is basically our Super Bowl. The entire year has led up to this moment right now, and I'm gonna give you my live reactions upon hearing the winners. The big question of the night, big picture. Will this new Coda Surge push it over the finish line, or will Power the Dog be given a new life? So for those who have seen my most recent video, you know that there's actually a lot on the line for me. I typically predict where I feel the wind is blowing, but this year I decided to stick with the stats and I predicted Power of the Dog to win Best Picture. And I honestly do not feel 100% confident or 50% confident or 30, I don't feel confident at all. One way or another though, whether it's Coda or Power of the Dog, I would not feel confident. So I've, I'm emotionally prepared to hear Coda called out, but because of the prediction I made, if Power of the Dog is red for Best Picture, my neighbors will probably call the police from hearing all the screaming that's going on in this apartment. But my eyes are peeled on that cinematography and adapted screenplay category because if Power of the Dog can upset there, it stands a real chance for picture. Other close races I think we can see today, editing. That's completely still up in the air. Best Actress has somehow become something to have suspense over. Uh, Penelope Cruz's name was floating around a lot on those anonymous ballots. And with such a bumpy Best Actress race this year, that would be pretty wild to see Penelope Cruz uh, get Best Actress after all of this. Um, it's the Oscars though, you know, anything's possible and there's bound to be at least one shocker. Okay, so actually the show, the show is actually about to start right now. So my predictions are locked. Uh, I didn't get a chance to make a final predictions video but I posted them on my Twitter this morning. So what I'm gonna do, I guess, is I'm gonna read out the winner of what I think is gonna win, and then I'll just react to the winner. So here we go, it's starting. Okay, I'm gonna say something that's probably not gonna be very popular on the internet, but like, Amy Schumer's good at this, guys. That don't look up joke. They don't look up reviews, that's pretty good. All right, okay, first category. So guys, this is a supporting actress. This should be a pretty easy one. Ariana DeBose. Let's see her win her Oscar. Judy Dench, baby. I'm on team Judy Dench. Just kidding. Uh, is she even there? All right, Ari Ariana DeBose. Very deserving. Very deserving. I think as soon as everyone saw it, I think it was a kind of a shoe in. She's been steamrolling the whole season. All right, so we're going on to sound, and sound should be a pretty big shoe-in for Dune. There it is, Dune. So far, two for two. Cinematography. So guys, this is one to look out for. Cinematography. If this goes to Power of the Dog, then we have some hope for Power of the Dog to win picture, but I'm feeling pretty good that it's probably Dune. Greg Fraser, but, but you never know. This is a kick-ass lineup, though. All right, here it is. Dune, okay. Dune won cinematography. Okay, that's so far a little dent, a little dent for Power of the Dog, but uh, that's okay, it was kind of expected. Everyone kind of knew Dune was gonna take this. Best documentary short subject, I have Queen of Basketball. There we go, Queen of Basketball. Okay, we're going, we're going on to visual effects. This should be a shoe-in for Dune. Let's take a look, here it is. And the Oscar, and the Oscar goes to Dune. Dune, okay. So uh, they just moved on to animated feature. My prediction, of course, is Encanto. They just performed a song from Encanto, so I feel very good that it's Encanto. Goes to Encanto. All right. All right, everyone, the moment that you have all been waiting for, the stand up and cheer moment, here it is, The Matrix. Dream Girls, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Come on, come on, that, really? You know what my favorite stand up and cheer moment is gonna be? Is uh, when they cancel this Okay, moving on to animated short film. This one I actually do feel a little concerned about. I, I do have Robin Robin and I do feel pretty good about it. I'm rooting for Bestia though. Uh, Box Ballet has a chance. I really don't know, but I, I have Robin Robin. 
Whoa, the windshield wiper. Wow. I honestly thought the windshield wiper would be a little too abstract for them. Okay, well that's my first miss. I predicted Robin Robin, but it ended up being windshield wiper. Wow. All right, so best supporting actor is about to be announced. Um, obviously, I predicted Troy Kosser. This should be a, a complete shoe in Man, if you were one of the actors who won over Troy. Cody Smith McPhee gave a really great performance in Power of the Dog, too. Like, I, I've gone back and watched Power of the Dog, and his performance actually stood out a little bit more for me because there's just so many layers there. Troy Kosser. There it is. Much deserved, much deserved. All right, moving on to international film. This one should be a pretty much slam dunk for Drive My Car. You know, nominated for director, nominated for the screenplay category, so should be a pretty easy one. Unless people have discovered worst person in the world, but it should be Drive My Car. There it is. All right, moving on to best live action short film. I currently have the, the Long Goodbye, but honestly, this one was one I really thought about a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't, but I, I have Long Goodbye. My second, I think it could be, is, is Please Hold. And then maybe Take and Run, but... There it is, Long Goodbye, okay. All right, moving on to costume design. This should be easily Cruella. Uh, good costume design across the board, though, but I think it should be... Corella for that trash trash. Here it is. Corella. Boom. All right. All right, guys, we're moving on to original screenplay. Uh, a lot of possibilities here. Belfast, Licorice Pizza, even Don't Look Up is on the table. I predicted Belfast, but I could see anything. It even could be worst person in the world. Wouldn't that be crazy? Kenneth Branagh, Belfast, okay. Part of me was like, in the back of my heart, I was like, is it gonna be worst person in the world? But no, okay, so no freak outs. It's Belfast, it's Belfast, guys. All right, guys, we're moving on to adapted screenplay. This is a big, big, big important category. If Coda wins this category, it's likely to win best picture, but if Power of the Dog wins this category, there's a chance that it can win best picture. So this is really, really big right now. Okay, Sean Hader. All right, so guys, that's that's pretty big for Coda. That's a pretty good sign for Coda. Jane Campion needed that. I did predict Coda. I did think it had probably the highest chance of winning. It did win, but I wanted to really get best picture this year, but it's not looking too hot. It's not looking too hot. The majority of best picture winners in the past have had a screenplay win attached to it, so you know, like when Parasite won, right? It didn't just win Best Picture. It got grouped in with, with original screenplay as well. Uh, when Argo won Best Picture, it got grouped in with screenplay. Hurt Locker, screenplay. It's not looking good. Not looking good for Power of the Dog right now. Top five fan favorite movies. Tick, tick, boom. Please have something strange in here. I want them to have like a completely random one. All right, moving on to Best Original Score. I have Hans Zimmer for... Dune, there it is, Dune, okay. I'm doing pretty good on my predictions, guys. I got one wrong so far. All right, we're moving on to what category now? What are we, on? film editing, okay. So I have Dune for editing, but this one is the one I've been bouncing back and forth on between King Richard and Dune, and I really could not decide. Um, and also the outside chance of um, tick, tick, boom. But I decided to, uh, for Dune because there's a really good stat about uh, editing being... Dune? Dune! Boom! What was that? What was going on? What is going on? He's kidding, right? It's a, it's a bit. Guys, I thought that was a bit. I thought 
Chris Rock was like fake slapped by Will Smith. So we're here. The documentary. That was so weird, guys. I can't get over it. I don't. I don't even know what just happened. I have no idea. I can't even focus now. Did Will Smith really just actually slap Chris Rock and was actually mad right now? So he's gonna win Best Actor after having that awkward moment? What is going on? The slap looked fake. Yeah, the slap looked fake to me. It looked like a setup and it looked like he was like doing a bit. But then he started yelling or something. I don't know what that was. Or maybe it was a bit that went south. Like maybe he thought it would be funnier if he played it real and then it got muddled on whether it was real or not. Yeah, it looked like he was cussing. It looked like he was really angry. All right, moving on to the best documentary. I can't even focus right now. That was interesting. Uh, Questlove has to accept an award now with that awkward moment just before it. So uh, the, the winner of a documentary is Summer of Soul. Weird. That was a weird moment. Yes! Guys, Summer of Soul was like one of my top five films of the year. I love this movie. Uh, totally deserving. This is really distracting, guys. I'm watching Questlove give a speech. I I've been waiting for this moment, but I can't stop thinking about what happened with that Chris Rock, Will Smith thing. Like, what was that? I'm going to read about what that was after this is over. All right, guys, so I have my field reporter, my girlfriend's looking up what the heck happened because I can't focus on anything else until I figure out what the heck that Will Smith, Chris Rock moment was. Why would he get that offended over a joke? It, was, it wasn't that, the G.I. Jane joke. I just can't believe that Will Smith is winning Best Actor right now and he just had one of the most awkward uh, exchanges of Oscars. That goes down as one of the weirdest Oscar moments probably um, ever. I, I wonder if there's some weird history between Chris Rock and, and Will Smith and Jada. I have no idea, but... All right, so my girlfriend's looking it up. I guess Jada Pinkett Smith shaved her head last year because she has alopecia. And so maybe there was um, uh, they took that joke very personally. All right, I gotta shake the Will Smith, Chris Rock moment off. Okay, so we're on production design. It could be Nightmare Alley. If I was voting, I might vote for my Nightmare Alley, but I predicted Dune because of the world building aspect. Uh, I think Dune is probably gonna win this. Oscar goes to Dune, boom. Okay, so uh, Yvette doing more information about the Will Smith thing. Uh, yeah, I saw Will Smith kind of laugh at the G.I. Jane joke. And then out of nowhere, he got angry. And I guess she is finding out that the slap was real. I, I honestly don't know what to think. We're onto original song and I predicted no time to die. Yes. Never go against the Bond song. All right. I mean, if freaking Sam Smith can win, why not Billie Eilish? That's why I predicted it. All right, so they don't have time to give international film to say more than three lines, but they have time for Kevin Costner to slowly read his story about how much he loves movies and the same performance that he gave in Dance of the Wolves. All right, here we go. Best director, Jane Campion. And the Oscar goes to Jane Campion. Yes. But here's the weird thing. Jane Campion, one director, and this is something that always is gonna be confusing to me. The film wins nothing else. It might not even win picture. So then we're gonna have a situation where Jane Campion wins a solo Oscar for directing and no other awards. You have to go back to like 1968 with Mike Nichols, who won for The Graduate and that didn't win anything else, which is just like, talk about breaking stats. Okay, so we're moving on to best actor. Guys, this might, this might be a first. We might see someone get an Oscar and arrested on the same day. Has it ever been possible that a, someone won Best Actor and slapped someone on stage on the same day? That might be a first. Will Smith, there it is. Okay, all right. Let's watch this awkward speech. Okay, they're about to read Best Actress. I have Jessica Chastain. Jessica Chastain, okay. So, those like, 
freaking 20 ballots with Penelope Cruz, I guess wasn't, was it was just a selected pool. I got everyone freaked out. Okay, we're on to the best picture category and they're about to announce it. For some reason, part of me still thinks it could be Power of the Dog, but I know deep down it's probably Coda, but best picture, best picture. Oh gosh, it's Coda, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Coda, gosh. The stat breaker Coda, guys. It broke all the stats. It broke them all. Didn't get nominated for a director. Didn't get nominated for editing. Didn't get nominated for BAFTA Best Film. But somehow, magically, through its momentum and Apple's marketing campaign, they were able to bring it to the win. I think this was the year that people just liked this film. And after a very hard, maybe, pandemic, this was the type of film that people really wanted to embrace and see. And then on top of it, being able to push forward the voices of the deaf community, I'm sure that was very, very, um, that's a very, very important thing. All right, so there you have it. Uh, but again, Coda beat all the stats. So just to remind you of all the stats that it happened to beat, it didn't get any below the line categories, didn't get nominated for BAFTA for best film, didn't get an editing nomination, didn't get a director nomination at Golden Globe, um, there's so many things it didn't get. And the only way you can make sense of it really is that some people saw it, nominated it a few in a few categories, and then people had the opportunity to really sit down and watch all the Best Picture nominees, and then that's when people fell in love with it. So it the, the love for CODA didn't really start until post-nominations, and then when it won SAG, it, that moment of watching, seeing them on stage, just really just set forth this new trajectory that, yeah, we wanna see that film. I love that film and I wanna see them on stage and then that's what happened. And then they won, you know, of course, PGA and then that's it. Well, there you have it. We had some massive wins tonight. The stat stack has been defeated, so it's back to the old drawing board and we witnessed an assault on live television. So. Definitely a memorable Oscars. I'm looking forward to closing the door on this year and focusing on the next where I will be bringing you much more Oscar related content. And I've already taken a look at the next year's slate of movies coming out and they look fantastic. So looking forward to talking about all those great films. Other than that, feel free to subscribe and let me know in the comments section below what your favorite win of the night was and whether you think that this is officially the death of the stats. I always love hearing from you all. Until then, I will see you at the Oscars. Where we hopefully don't get slapped.